your KETK Sports Zone, brought to you by Peters Auto Sports Tyler. Coming into Sunday, the TJC Apaches were just one more win away from punching their ticket to the Division Three World Series. Coastal Bend won Game One, shutting out the Apaches, while Tyler dominating Game Two. Well, on Sunday, both sides had their best display. Doug Wren and his Tyler Apaches looking to weather the Cougars and the incoming rain, try to secure yet another District C title. But was trailing by a run in the top of the eighth. That's when Daniel Young fires his grounder past shortstop. Miguel Vega will score from third. We were tied at five apiece. And guess what? We need some extra baseball to decide a winner in this showdown. Top of the tenth, Alec Williams gets a hit right up the middle. Trace Thomas, he will score. Tyler takes the lead, but Coastal would tie it up again in the bottom of the frame. And then those dreaded raindrops began pouring into Mike Carter Field. Officials consult with both coaches. They decided to delay the game. They would not be able to get back to action until 7.30, more than four-hour delay, but we would have a champion crown Sunday night. And with the game tied in the bottom of the 11th, Coastal Bend's Ryan Davenport lines his ball in left field. Brett Copeland will round third, hustle down the line, and he will slide into home for the walk-off win. The Cougars win an 11 inning, 7-6. They claim the District C Championship along with the automatic bid to the World Series. It's a gut punch for an, of an ending for TJC, but now the Apaches will have to wait to see if they're an at-large bid when the brackets are announced on May 25th.